Hi, everybody. Very often we need to do things like uh, putting a perfect hole in a perfect square, or uh, a night indent, or a square in a cylinder, or a triangle in a cylinder, or a hexagon. It doesn't really matter. <coughs> What, but it's all possible to use almost anything, even for quite complicated things like this one. And to explain the method I'm using, I would like to use this model here. You can think of it <coughs> as looking in the top view and try to construct a 2D plane which contains as much detail of your 3D models as possible. So instead of theoretically explaining it, uh, I will do a new model, exactly this one here. Just remember that we have a hexagon shape in here, which uh, needs a little bit of planning. All the other shapes must have as, ma as many edges, so uh, it is dividable by 6. So let's create a new mesh, hit the M key, numeric one for top view, A to center everything, and I start with a square. I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts. I try to tell which ones, hopefully I don't forget. So let me start with the square, I make it 200 by 200 millimeters and zero it out on all positions. Drop the tool, one for vertex mode, select these four words, P for bevel, click in the viewport and bevel it in with a round level of, of one. That's good. Drop the tool, three for poly mode, select this polygon, P for bevel, bevel it in, about so, hit the delete key, get rid of it. Now we need to do two things. First, we need to tighten, pardon me, these edges. You see it bends. And second, it must be dividable by six because we will have a hexagon. So let's select these edges here, Alt C, count of two, that looks not bad. Drop the tool, we are holding the edge now. But we only have 20, so we need to have one more in here, Alt C, with a count of one, drop the tool, now we have 24. Next, we make a circle with, of course, 24 edges, like so. Make it 82 by 82, and zero here, drop the tool. 3 for poly mode, select this polygon, B for bevel, bevel it in, shift click, bevel it in again, shift click, bevel it in again, drop the two, we don't need the ones here in the middle, so select two or three, hit the L key, delete. Next <coughs> is our hexagon, so six sides. Uh, maybe. 55 and 55, zero all the positions, drop the tool. Same again, select this polygon, hit the B key, bevel it in, drop the tool. Now, next is we must hold these edges and must make sure that we have 24 edges also on the hexagon. So to do it, I select all these edges here. Alt C with the count of three this time and symmetry, bring it out. And now we have 24 edges and we keep the shape. So if you dislike this end gone here, you can select it, go to poly mode, make it spiky, click in the viewport, two for edge mode, select every second edge. and hit the backspace key. Now we have all quads. Okay, 
we can now start to bridge everything together. So, bridge, click. If you get something strange like this here, then uh, you can reverse the direction and it should be okay. Drop the tool, select these edges, bridge, drop the tool, select these edges, bridge. Now we need to tighten these here with, uh, yeah, 5% is good. Drop the tool, go to perspective mode, 3 for polygon, select all the polys, X for extrude, bring it up, this is the bottom. Drop the tool, select two polygons in here, L key for loop, shift up arrow, shift up arrow, and once again shift up arrow, hit the X key, extrude this bit here, drop the tool, deselect, now go in here and select this loop, shift up arrow, shift up arrow, X key, extrude it to where you like, drop the tool, L key, shift up arrow, X for extrude, extrude it up, so far so good. We can now delete all the edges we don't need, like this here. So hit the backspace key. Then we don't need these ones, these ones. Backspace key. In fact, we don't need that one. And three for poly mode. R for transform. Scale this out to your liking. So, now we need to harden some edges, but first I want to go to Edge Mode by Tool Key, R, Green Circle, bring this into about here. Now, first thing, I bevel this edge with a round level of zero, ever so slightly, like so, drop the tool, <clears throat> now we need to tighten edges, this one, like so, then we need to tighten these edges, this here, um, Alt-C, count of two, symmetry, click, looks good, yes, then we need some single loops, oops, so C, like so, shift click in here, shift click in here, drop the tool, and what I forgot was the middle one, so select these polys here in the middle, B for bevel, blue handle, bring it down a bit, shift click, red handle, bring it in, drop the tool, select this edge here, Alt C, count of two, drop the tool, and we should be done. The reason why I made, why I beveled this edge here is a very simple one. It allows us to f make a fake view, like uh, I give it a material, call it black, give it a dark color, okay, and it gives the impression as if this part would be separate from the rest of the model. Okay, and here we are. Let's make a quick render. That looks pretty awesome, right? And it was very quickly done. So thanks for watching, take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you.